Would you rather build a park or fix our roads? San Diego City leaders are asking for your help in making some important decisions in infrastructure around town. The first virtual community meeting kicked off tonight for people who live in District 5. CBS 8's Regina Ahn has more on what they had to say. From streetlight repairs to potholes and upgrades to parks like this one, there's a series of meetings happening in the city of San Diego focused on infrastructure where you'll be able to voice your opinion on what happens and what should be prioritized. The street that I'm referring to is an access way for three schools and it's very dangerous for students to be riding their bikes and their skateboards on. It's that deteriorated. Every district in San Diego has street light repairs that need to be done and road repairs that need to be done, park facilities that have to be upgraded, libraries that need new roofs, for example. You know, the city's priority infrastructure needs over the next five years are an estimated $5.7 billion. Council member Marty Von Wilpert says one of District 5's biggest needs is wildfire prevention. We want to make sure that we have our brush management under control to have fire breaks to make sure if there is a wildfire, we are protecting homes. District 5 includes Scripps Ranch, Rancho Bernardo, Rancho Penasquitos, Carmel Mountain to San Pasqual. Really need to invest in fixing our roads and what's underneath our roads. She says sewers, broadband connections to water mains all need to be updated. That's why she says these series of meetings coming up are so important for that dialogue between the city and residents. How come some streets don't see improved from poor to good when no repairs were even made? We need to make sure that we actually invest in certain infrastructure issues so that we don't have to make emergency repairs down the line. And with money available, she says it's the best time to start thinking ahead. Since President Biden's administration and Congress finally passed the trillion dollar infrastructure package, we now have the money to actually do these projects. As for San Diego, she says there needs to be more done to help be resilient to climate change. How do we want to build out the electric vehicle charging networks we need so that every resident in every part of San Diego has access to clean emissions vehicles? She adds it comes down to priorities. While every district has many needs, she says it comes down to you and what the people need the most. There are several meetings. The next one will be next Wednesday for District 9. That includes Kensington, City Heights, College Area, and South Crest. We'll have a full list of meetings for your area on CBS8.com.